is all this stuff back here? Check out all these crazy dinosaurs here at T-Rex. My first time ever at T-Rex. Really looking forward to it. Let's check it out. What's going on everybody? Dave K here in the T-Rex restaurant for the first time ever and you can see some of this awesome stuff behind me here. Gonna take a full tour while we're waiting for the food, but I heard that this one is amazing. Also part of the Landry's Club, supposed to be as good as the Yak at Yeti, I heard. So really looking forward to giving it a shot. Let's see how it tastes here. I'm excited for it. Seems more, a lot more like a burger or some steak and that kind of place. But really, really excited to see all the scenery here and especially to taste all the food. Really, really looking forward to it. Just kind of walked in, got really lucky today with a short standby wait. Let's give it a shot. Getting started here with this, apparently it's an extinction event. Really, really cool to see all the scenery here lighting up. Definitely a nice vibe to it and reminds you of that world of T-Rexes as well. I really, really like this one. Definitely can appreciate that theming immediately, just kind of seeing it, walking in here. Very, very cool. You can see a lot more of the action going on here, flashing lights and all kinds of different changing colors for this event. I'm not sure how often it happens. We'll have to find out here, but really cool to see they kind of have all these effects going on. Really like the vibe here and the atmosphere. And it's got a lot of cool dinosaurs too. We'll have to make a lap around and see the T-Rex and all these other creatures around. But it looks like it's kind of changed back to those solid colors now. Lights up a little bit more and you can see more of that dining room over there. Really cool place with some great vibes. I'm liking it more and more and we just sat down. Taking a look at the menu here, you can see appetizers, soups and salad. Lots of seafood, so I'm definitely looking at that section. You got pastas. You got burgers and sandwiches here as well. Really cool to see it all. And the carnivores section, you got some meats in there. Ribs I heard were really, really good. I was looking at a lot of those shrimps though too, so we'll see what we get. We had a lot of entree options here in this main menu, but you can see they also have this drink menu here. And just like the Yak and Yeti, you can see they've got this specialty menu here as well. So cool to see kind of these recommendations here, maybe the seasonal items on this specialty menu. I'm not so sure it's seasonal. I think it's maybe just favorites on this one, but all kinds of options. Just kind of give you an idea of what they serve. Really, really cool to see they've got their own theming here. Again, it has that nice feel to it. Really, really excited to try the food. I've heard some great things here. Taking a full look around the venue here, you can see some really cool theming here in this room. You've got this kind of blue light going on with all kinds of fossils all around the restaurant. Really cool to see that ceiling has kind of some of those crystals hanging out up there as well. So kind of nice pillars separating this room from the rest. Really, really cool vibe. It says Tyrannosaurus Rex and gives you some information here as well. You can see all these rooms are kind of themed differently here. So really, really excited to see it all. As we proceed through this hallway here into this next corridor, you'll see we've got all kinds of dinosaurs in here as well. You've got the Apatosaurus over there, all kinds of other ones. They call this the Sequoia Room. You'll see that little sign right there, Sequoia Room. You kind of have that blue crystal light wall over there, but you also have these dinosaurs all around the walls here too. Continuing our way around here, check out this guy. Oh, what's going on, Apatosaurus? Nice little face hanging out there hanging out with you while you're eating. And you've got a dinosaur up there as well. Don't know if you can see him in the lighting here, but really, really cool vibes. Definitely enjoy this kind of jungle feel. So it's really nice as well. Continuing around the same room here, you've got the Stegosaurus and several other kind of jungle dinosaurs, if you will, here in the fern forest. Definitely a cool aspect in here as well. And you've got to appreciate all these dinosaurs. Again, just kind of like the dinosaur seating theming here. Look at that dino right there. All kinds of really cool dinos to be seen for sure. Walking through the next room here, this one's definitely more of an undersea room. You can see you've got a lot of fish here in this tank on our left, and you've got these sea creatures here. Definitely a large sea creature right there. All kinds of ones hanging from the ceiling as well, whether it's jellyfish or other coral and stuff hanging on those walls. I love how this one table kind of has this theming above it with that giant jellyfish looking thing. You can get a better look at the fish tank here and making our way towards this bar here, you'll see you've got this giant octopus looking maybe dinosaur. Not really sure if he is a dinosaur or if he's just an octopus or what's going on with that. But we'll get in there and take a closer look as well. You've got the bar over there again where some of the servers are picking up their drinks and bringing their food for all the other guests 
and that giant octo dino not really sure what's going on up there hanging out over there right by the t-rex and look at the t-rex moving his head over there really cool action with that t-rex and he's across from this mammoth right here cool to see that woolly mammoth hanging out look at him shaking his nose a little bit definitely seems like there's a lot of cool dinosaurs to see here in this restaurant towards the front we've got some bugs as well so coral reef dining I guess is what we're calling this underwater, undersea area. You've got another T-Rex, a really big T-Rex at the front there. All these bugs across here. And look at that way in the back over there. You've got a gift shop. So giant T-Rex over here. All kinds of cool dinos as we make our way back into the restaurant. So we'll take you back and give you a closer look on where we're sitting and kind of what it looks like making our way back there. But really, really great theming. You can maybe see that dinosaur is kind of screaming or, you know, howling or, you know, making dinosaur noises right there. And look at the faces that he's making as well. Really, really cool to see. I feel like at some point, maybe I'll see if I can get a picture with him as well. But definitely, really, really cool to see. And he's moving here. If not ever so slightly right now, we'll see him move even more in a second. But definitely some cool theming. We've got some flying creatures throughout our room here as well. And the Geotech Dining. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize this big dino moves as well. Look at his tail kind of moving up in the air over there. That's really, really cool to see. Definitely all kinds of dinosaur movement going on in this room here. And I guess that one is the ice cave. So the one we came out of before, the ice cave. Really, really nice to see all the theming again all the way around. More bugs around here. Here's an assassin bug and pterosaur. So really glad we get to check out all the dinos here today. If you haven't been in here, definitely worth checking out. Just seeing all the dinos. There's another little mammoth behind our table there. And it looks like it's moving a little bit too. So really cool to see. And another note here in T-Rex, we're noticing it seems like it can be a little bit loud in here. I'm wondering if it's normally this loud. Definitely lots of clapping from servers, maybe wishing people happy birthday. I think that's what that is. And a lot of fast movement by the servers as well. So trying to navigate around the restaurant, especially with the camera, can be a little bit tricky. But definitely loud, definitely a little bit fast moving in here. But great climate once you're seated and comfortable to see all of the dinosaurs moving around around you, see all the servers moving around you as well. And I'm so excited for this menu. Even that dessert menu looks really, really good too. So excited to try the food here. We've got the ribs. Mike and I will be splitting the ribs and mom has a salad. So really, really excited to try it all. I'm sure it's gonna be fantastic. We'll see how it compares to some of our other favorite spots. Looks like we've got a different event happening here. This one is a meteor shower. So really cool to see. Again, kind of different lighting themed up here. Oh, and look at that. You can see the celebration for that dessert item there, kind of steaming as they're ordering that dessert. Really, really cool. But again, kind of that meteor shower going on or some other sort of visual effect here with the, it looks like a meteor shower, something along those lines, I'm sure. But very different from that last one. And it doesn't have quite the changing colors here in the ice room, only here in that main room. So really, really cool to see the different vibes, the different effects they'll do in here. I, I love it. I really like the theme here. You see up in the sky, they've got the stars, but there's a lot of lights along the roof there. So that's that's really cool as well. And that's how they're able to do some of those different lighting effects. If you like this kind of experiential dining, I don't know if you've been to the rainforest room or something like that, but it does remind me a lot of that. Really, really cool to see in here. Definitely a unique perspective. Check out our ribs here. Mike and I are gonna be splitting these ribs here at the T-Rex restaurant. Looks delicious. Really good size here to that full rack. Looks fantastic. And mom has her Cobb salad here. Cobb salad looks really, really good as well. All kinds of accoutrements on that one. Looking forward to giving them both a taste. Looks fantastic. So you can see I got a bit chilly here in the T-Rex restaurant. I got my jacket all zipped up here. I feel like it was a little cold. I'm pretty much the only one though. Everyone else is comfortable. So, you know, what do you think, mom? Pretty comfortable? It's comfortable, but I mean, it's to be expected. We're at the ice cave. That's true. I should have sat near the volcano, definitely. Overall, I thought the food was quite good. Really enjoyed the ribs there. I feel like the cook, the way it was cooked, was really, really good. Kind of, the meat fell off the bone there, so that was fantastic. Also loved the flavor of those ribs. They had some sauce on there. It really made this one fantastic. So two things, really going for the ribs there. One thing for me, which was kind of an issue, which, which kind of took away from it being perfect for me, was it was a little bit of cartilage or something along those lines in there, uh, which was, I just kept running into it. There's a lot of bones or cartilage, that sort of thing. So as much as I did like this quite a bit, for me, Yak and Yeti is still the number one in terms of, I feel like I, it's technically it's not a dining in parks. It's not a sit down table service in parks, 
but as the sit-down table service, Yaki Yeti for me beats this one. But I did enjoy this quite a bit. Definitely looking forward to trying more in the future. Overall, if I had to rate the T-Rex restaurant here and the ribs that I had, and I tried a bit of mom salad as well, I want to say maybe I give this one an 8 out of 10, maybe, maybe even a 9 out of 10. But for me, it was a little tricky with that cartilage in there and a lot of those ribs. But overall, I did enjoy it quite a bit. It's a winner. It's just not number one for me so far. I, I feel like maybe eight, eight and a half is probably the right score for me. Michael, your official review and rating here of the T-Rex restaurant. I loved it, absolutely loved it. In my opinion, here we go, best ribs on property. You love ribs, you cannot get enough of ribs, come to T-Rex, it is that fantastic. Falling off the bone, fantastic flavor, you get the barbecue, kind of a hickory smoked in there as well. I love it, absolutely love it, and the theming around, you can't beat it. And mom, your thoughts here on the T-Rex restaurant, what'd you think? I like it a lot, it is a little bit noisy. The cow salad was great, and I have to say, I agree with Michael, those are the best ribs on property. They were absolutely delicious. All right, fantastic. Taking a look at the dessert menu here, you can see a variety of options, and I heard we might be looking at the chocolate extinction there. What's going on over there with the chocolate extinction? Well, we're celebrating mom's trip. It's not all the time, you know. That's true. That's true. We'll, we'll, we'll see. This one looks promising. We'll see how it tastes. As we're ordering the chocolate extinction here, I just want to make sure everyone knows that this is how the dinosaurs went extinct. They ate too much chocolate. Or just too much in general. I'm sure it's going to be delicious, though. Really, really excited for this one. And it looks really cool, too. We're looking forward to seeing that dish come out here. I'm excited for it. Here we are. Comes, chocolate All right. Whoa. Awesome. Thank you. Looks fantastic. Look at that steam coming out all over the place. I already feel extinct just looking at this dish here. Extinct of chocolate. You can kind of see it in there over all that steam. Get a closer look through the mist. Oh, yes. Chocolatey, chocolatey. Overall, I thought the dessert was okay. The flavors did go pretty well together, but I felt like it was pretty typical ice cream and pretty typical chocolate cake. You know, I'm pretty picky when it comes to sugar. I try to only eat the best of the best sugar, but I was pretty pleased with that main course overall. So I would recommend checking out some of the main courses. I feel like I might skip this dessert in the future. I probably will try that milkshake at some point. That did look quite good as well. But really glad we had the chance to try it. Definitely a fantastic experience as well. The vibes, beautiful. All the scenery, how it lights up is great as well. So really, really glad we had the chance to try this one. Taking another look at the Triceratops here. Really cool to see that dinosaur hanging out. And more of these effects over here on the side. I'm trying to remember which one I missed on my initial pass through. Let's see if I can give you an idea of all of them here. I feel like maybe it was this bug hanging from the ceiling or that area as well, but really, really cool to see. Definitely a lot of movement around the walkways here, so it can be tricky, again, to get around with a camera, but you can see all kinds of dinosaurs hanging out here as well. Really, really cool spot. Just a quick look at the merchandise shop here as well. All kinds of cool dinosaurs there and toys that match those dinosaurs on each sort of egg here. Really, really cool style for that. I like this store here a lot. You've got all kinds of shirts. Look at that Christmas T-Rex shirt right there. All kinds of great ones around. And your own build your own dino experience all the way in the back. So definitely some great theming here in the shop as well. Nice way to get some dinosaur merchandise if that's something that you're looking for. While we're in the shop here in the back, that build your own dino experience, you can see all the different types of dinos you can build here as well. Can definitely appreciate the variety of animals. And you've got their little outfits there in the back. Really, really cute. You can see some of those outfits for those dinos and where the cotton is made to stuff those dinos and bring them to life. Really, really cool. $24 each, it looks like, for most of these, just to give you an idea what those go for. But nice, nice setup for sure. One more thing to touch on here. Look at this fossily area. Really, really cool to see. Awesome sort of atmosphere. It looks like you can kind of dig up these fossils from this yard here. Some brushes out there. You got almost like a little hand washing station back there as well. Really, really cool to see they've got this set up here as well. For you to really experience that dinosaur world. Really making you feel like you're a part of that era. I can really appreciate that quite a bit. Thanks so much for being a part of the fun with me today. What did you think of today's delicious dining adventures? Let me know your thoughts 
in the comments below. And if you haven't already, for more fun, family-friendly adventures, delicious and otherwise, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay informed. And check out my gaming channel as well, YouTube gaming channel. On the end screen, you'll see that currently named Dave K Media. And my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash backslash Dave K is listed in the description below. Thanks for being a part of the fun with me today and looking forward to sharing more with you again real soon. Until next time, play on. What the heck is going on back here? Is that is that a T-Rex? It is a T-Rex. First time ever here at the T-Rex restaurant in Disney Springs. Let's check it out.